all right guys so in today's video we are going to be going from noob to pro using the bankai inferno in shindle life roblox so yeah guys let's hop straight into it all right guys so here we are in shindle life so if you go to uh edit right here you can see we do have the bankai inferno bloodline so yeah i've been afking off camera and actually able to go ahead and get myself i was able to get myself a lot of video so we can just go ahead and like max out this uh, bloodline then we can go ahead and buy all of the moves that we need so let's go ahead to village ember so here we are in village ember and if you press m we can go to bloodline and uh, we can see we've got our bankai inferno right here so yeah, it's pretty expensive so that's why i saved up a lot of rio we also need to get the mode uh, so we need to get the bloodline all to level 600 but i think that's the first form i think there's also a second form but i can't really remember if there is a second form or not so we're gonna have to unlock the first form to see if there is a second form which if there is we're gonna be unlocking in today's video so let's go ahead and try to see if we can get the first ability so we need to get our bloodline all the way to 250 but before that let's go on to the training logs which we spawned actually right next to so yeah we got pretty lucky so you have to stay here until level 20 to form up some uh, stat points that we can put into our taijutsu so we can go ahead against uh, the bandits and we can go ahead and do some green skull missions. So yeah, let's quickly make it to level 20. I'll see you guys in a bit. okay so level 20 let's go ahead and do a green skull mission or so on right here so let's go ahead and do this one so yeah okay so here we are let's go ahead and start off with the ll5 style five all right that basically did nothing all right we could have had a better chance if we just use our taijutsu off the start so yeah i'm probably gonna go attack my taijutsu first then we'll attack with my fire style that basically did like 50 damage i'm pretty sure Cause this all right we died again the guy literally two shots away from dying that one's a couple of shots and we didn't even touch the one at the back all right that did like 50 damage then but there we go level 31 let's complete the mission so we can gain more level from it come on give me the rest of the levels come on level 30 well 40 45 40, maybe 50 there we go 52 that's pretty good i'll take that let's do another mission this time put everything to our taijutsu because we're not gonna uh, be able to do anything with our fire style let's all be let's be honest we're not gonna be able to do anything with our fire style all right let's go back oh my god how did i die i think it's the satoru akuma boss this is gonna be a bit harder but there we go come on we got this come on let's go there we go come on i don't know what i'm using my fire style maybe literally there's no damage but i'm still using it for some reason just we do way more damage with our, our fists there's a bit of knockback i guess so i guess it's like a good combo extender but there we go defeated we complete our mission we're gonna go back now and go on the training log but let's quickly go ahead and get all of the levels from the mission ready level 59 from defeating those two bandits now the quest is completed and come on level 70 there we go level 72 all right i'll take that that's not too bad let's go back to the village oh we actually were itachi for a couple of seconds we were on top of the pole we all know what happened last time uh, itachi was on top of a pole yeah let's get started with this auto farming and yeah catch you guys in a bit Alright guys, I'm back and we made it only level to 299, basically 300. So let's go ahead and look at Bloodline. We did go ahead and get our Bloodline all the way to 424. Uh, now we can go ahead and get the first move. First move is called Inferno Style, Eternal Engage. Let's go to Start Points so and let's go put a thousand into our Chi. And I guess I'll put uh, the rest into our... Actually, I'm going to put the rest into our HP. I think we got enough into Tai so far. All the way into our HP. So this, so this is our start point so far. So here we are. The first move. Let's go ahead and get it. Inferno style internal engage. Equip this move. So let's showcase this off in 3, 2, 1. 
there we go inferno style tenant engage so i'm pretty sure yeah this is like a move yeah it's like a mass you have to like double click it twice but i'm pretty sure it's also like a transport move so if i press v that i can go all the way like here for example i press v again i'll teleport where i first I pressed v let me wait for the move to recharge and i'll showcase it off to you guys all right so for example if i do v now then i go here then i press v again i teleport for to where i like did my v then it is like a massive inferno style like a massive inferno style the place that i pressed v again so yeah it's a very cool move but we're still far away from getting our bloodline and our second move so yeah first to get the mode you to get to level 600 and to get the inferno style crow stake so yeah let's go ahead and get back into grinding okay so level 524 it's been a while since the last clip and we made it all the way to level 888 for our bloodline we can go ahead and get the mode okay we need 2000 chi um yeah we need 2000 so we might as well put 2k there we go let's go ahead and buy the inferno style crow steak and let's go ahead and buy our mode there we go our mode actually cost us 500 000. that means you need 100k more to get blood glaze let's go ahead and equip this move there, there we go and equip there we go our mode our z spec our first move so it's gonna be inferno style crow steak three two one go there we go so it's like a genjutsu move but now guys it's time for our mode so it's our z spec and three two one there we go let's charge up let's go inferno bankai inferno look how cold we look oh my god look at it we got like the reanimation eyes with, like the bank inferno as our sharing gun it's like itachi this is the m1 pretty cool we got like this um sword it's like that uh sword that uh, itachi used against orochimaru but we don't have the shield so this is the block you have you get the sword out it's pretty cool i'm not gonna lie uh let's see if there's a form 2 so there doesn't seem to be a form 2 that's quite unfortunate let's go ahead and charge up our uh, chi so we can charge our q spec and our c spec uh this is gonna take a while for us to charge up oh my god there we go let's go ahead and try our z spec there we go oh all right so we get like this massive sword oh my god all right that was a very cool uh, z spec let's try the q spec there we go all right so yeah it's like a, a full-on combo the sword another cool z spec right here right let's use our z spec there we go all right all right let's go to all right he's coming at me he's coming at me let's go to use our q spec on them there we go there we go one down come on next one up kinzitsu and let's use final stick all right use the game in amaterasu and let's finish them off with our m1 that was very easy and very simple Okay, here we are, we are back, made it all the way to level 612 and our bloodline is fully maxed out guys. So we can go ahead and buy the Inferno style blood glaze move. Let's go ahead and buy it and equip that to our uh, end slot, that's our H, my bad. Let's go ahead and showcase this off. We have basically done it, we have obtained every single ability of this bloodline. Let's go ahead and try this out. So it's the Inferno style blood glaze move, so in 3, 2, 1, there we go, Inferno style blood glaze. Okay, it's not working oh there we go so there's like a massive bubble it reminds me of xeno dokai that massive bubble that happens with the c spec okay that's pretty good that's pretty good literally got no start points into a hp that's how we died so the final step of today's video is to go ahead and make it all the way to level 1000 because we already done everything already maxed out the bloodline and got the mode so the final step is to make the level 1000 but before that let's quickly go ahead and look at itachi before we go ahead and grind 
so let's go back to the main menu and look like itachi uchiha all right guys so here we are look like itachi well some of you guys will disagree with me saying you don't look like itachi but listen to this uh i'm trying to go for like the reanimated look so i don't have his hairband uh right now i don't have his eyes but when we use the banka inferno mode where eyes do turn black and we do have like the Bankai Inferno Shining Gun. Uh, I got like the cloak that he does when he gets reanimated. I didn't really know what to go for like his clothes underneath, so I decided to go with the the Ikatsuki outfit because I was originally gonna go for like the regular Itachi. But I was like, oh, I can make it interesting by going for the reanimated. Cause so yeah, let's go in game and try it out with the mode. If it doesn't look good, I'll change it. So yeah, let's quickly go and look at it. Let's see how good it is. Alright, here we are. I don't know if it looks good or not. Let's use our Bankai Inferno this will uh tell if it's good or not okay so it does look good but the thing is we don't even have our cloak on so there's literally no point of wearing our cloak but yeah it does look pretty good uh even though we got the akatsuki cloak we still look pretty good so yeah all right guys so we have done it we made it all the way to level a thousand we just finished the last green skull mission and we finally did it took me a while to get to level a thousand but yeah we finally have done it so you guys we finished with today's video so in today's video guys we went from noob to pro using the bankai inferno bloodline so we first went ahead and obtained the bloodline we maxed it out like you can see right here after that we went ahead and made it all the way to level at 1000 um yeah the final thing it for me to do is to go ahead and put my stat points in so i'm gonna put a thousand into our hp and into our tie and that's basically it so yeah i'm gonna be ending off today's video here so if you guys did enjoy drop like subscribe and yeah guys catch you all next time peace out